Why are these four watchtowers important? Most obviously, these four watchtowers are important because of their easy relation to the four terrestrial elements, air, fire, water, and earth. The four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, respectively, and the four cardinal directions on a compass rosette, east, south, west, and north, respectively. However, beyond the 12 sub-angles around the central four, linking the model to the 16 symbols of geomancy also, there is the apparently random fact that this allows the system to be able to function as a calendar. Each of these 16 sub-angles consists of four columns and five rows, with a Calvary cross of 10 cells in the center of each. Thus, each sub-angle has a total of 30 cells, and between the four sub-angles on each quadrant or watchtower are the deacon crosses of 36 cells each. There are then four such sub-angles of 30 cells each per quadrant or watchtower, plus the 36 cells of the deacon cross for each. So there are thus four sub-angles with 30 cells each for a total of 100 for a subtotal of 120 cells per quadrant of, or of watchtower, plus the deacon cross of 36 cells for a grand total of 156 cells per quadrant or watchtower, exactly 12 rows by 13 columns. This brings the grand total for the entire four watchtower system up to 156 times four equals 624 cells inside the quadrants. Now, if the four watchtowers were each 12 rows by 12 columns, then each quadrant would only have 144 cells, and there would only be 576 total cells in the whole system. Likewise, if the four watchtowers were each 13 rows by 13 columns, then each quadrant would have 169 cells, and the total of all cells in the system would be 676. So, because... D happened to choose, seemingly at random, to model the final Enochian watchtower's design on an essentially Cartesian coordinate grid, but one offset with 12 rows and 13 columns. The entire system can function as not only a calendar, but as a clock within a calendar, capable of making predictions on multiple timescales simultaneously.